In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing an exponential function and its asymptote, f of x equals a times b to the x. We're given our function here, f of x, and we're asked to graph it by finding five points on the graph and to also draw the asymptote. So to keep track of our five points, I'll use a table for my x and y values. And I always like to start by substituting x equals 0. And we can see that substituting in a 0 for x to find f of 0, we would replace that x exponent with a 0. And following the order of operations, I would start by raising that 2 thirds to the 0 power, which would give us just 1. And negative 4 times 1 is our negative 4. So my first point is going to be 0, negative 4. Plotting that on our graph, I can then move on to other values. So substituting in an x equals 1 would give us a negative 4 times 2 thirds to the first power. Again, starting with the exponent, 2 thirds to the first power is just 2 thirds, which would simplify to negative 8 thirds. So we have the point 1 and negative 8 thirds, which is just a bit less than negative 3. And then I can also substitute in x equals 2. And replacing x with 2 means that we would start with evaluating 2 thirds to the second power. And squaring everything in the parentheses would give us 4 ninths. This time simplifying, we have negative 16 ninths, which is less than negative 2. And then I should also substitute in some negative values. So starting with x equals negative 1, to evaluate that negative exponent, I would take the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves, and then make that exponent positive. Simplifying now, we have negative 4 times 3 halves, which is negative 12 halves, or negative 6. So we have the point negative 1 negative 6, then substituting x equals negative 2, we would again start by taking the reciprocal of 2 thirds, 3 halves, and then raising it to the positive second power, which gives us a 9 fourths. Multiplying here, we can see that the fours would cancel, leaving me a negative 9, so negative 2, negative 9. Plotting that, we can start to get a sense of the shape and a sense of where that asymptote would be located. Here, our asymptote is y equals 0. As we continue to substitute in larger and larger x values, the y value will get closer and closer to 0. 